Uh, so was uh, the experience of doing Hell is for Heroes just something you did on a, on a lark to see what it was like to be in a movie? Well, just to be offered a movie was <laughs> to me. I mean, I never thought I would be... Uh, I never thought I'd be in a movie. I, I signed for the record contract. <clears throat> and and uh, I, I don't think anyone held out any great... Uh, that it was going to be hugely successful. Yeah. I, mean, I thought it would be a mild success. It might help my stand-up career. <laughs> which was the only thing I had going at that point. Um, and, and it exploded. Yeah. And, and then um, I was offered a movie. And then um, and then I, I, while I was offered the movie, uh, Hell is for Heroes, which was Steve McQueen and Bobby Darren and um, Fess Parker, right. Nick Adams, uh, Harry Gardino. Um, my money had gone up in, in nightclubs and in personal appearances. Much more than I was making on the movie. So <laughs> I kept trying to get killed. I kept trying to uh, get run over by tanks. I, I would go up to Don Siegel, who was the director, who did a lot of uh, uh, Clint Eastwood. Right. Movies, yeah. Yeah. And I said, Don, you know, when that tank comes over, I could like, I could trip. He said, "No, no, no. <laughs> You're in the movie to the end, okay?" Uh, 